Hello watermelon students. Today I'll be doing a tutorial on the correct way to eat a watermelon. As you can see right here, we have one serving. One serving of watermelon. One serving is one half of a watermelon. In this case it's a seedless watermelon and uh, I probably would prefer the seed type melon, but uh, this one looks pretty good. A lot of people think you are supposed to eat watermelon with a fork. I'll show you what a fork looks like there. And, of course, that's not true. There is a fork. And the fork cartel, many years ago, uh, sort of brainwashed people into thinking you're supposed to eat a watermelon with a fork, just in an attempt to sell forks. But the correct way to eat a watermelon is with a spoon. This is what a spoon looks like. You can see why you want to use a spoon for watermelon. The very name water, watermelon, implies this is a liquid food and therefore you use a spoon so you don't miss any of the drops. Now the correct way to eat a watermelon is this. You begin by placing your spoon at a 90 degree angle to the surface of the one serving of watermelon and you press downward and I'm uh, putting mine in the uh, eastern sector of the watermelon and I've made a little hole there that is uh, it is 1 and 15 16 inches in diameter mm, 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 mm. and I continue to dig into that hole keeping it very, very carefully measured at 1 and 15 sixteenths inches diameter. Mm. This is good. This is very good watermelon. Mm -hmm. I will be adding some extra ingredients later on, and you can see why we've used the spoon. We're getting a lot of good watermelon juice there. Now we have completed our partial tunnel. I don't know if you can complete something that's partial in the eastern sector. Now we're going to the northeast. We're going to place a similar size 1 and 15 16 inches diameter hole, which will become a tunnel. Mm -mm -mm. We will remove this. This is a very tasty part of the watermelon and it was blocking our tunnel. So we will get rid of it. Mm -mm -mm. Let me continue with our tunnel. Many people think you are supposed to put salt on a uh, watermelon. Of course, that's not true. Salt would take away from the sweet taste, so don't fall for that one. Continue our tunnel. We're going to connect our tunnels underneath. Now the northeastern tunnel that's connected with the southeastern tunnel of the watermelon. So we go to the west, southwestern portion of the watermelon. And we put a 1 and 15 16 inches diameter hole there. And we get rid of the evidence. You probably can hear the refrigerator running in the background now. We've advanced to the point where we now have a hole, a tunnel, in the southeastern and northeastern portion of the watermelon and another tunnel in the southwestern and northwestern portions of the watermelon and each of these tunnels is connected. You can drive through any of those if you had a car small enough but what we will do right now is we will introduce one of our secret ingredients 
then that secret ingredient is marshmallow. This uh, is the reason we made the holes exactly 1 and 15 16 inches diameter, so that we can take the marshmallow and drop it into the hole. I'll put one in each hole. And this brings up the Archimedes principle of combining watermelons and marshmallows. When you combine a marshmallow with a watermelon and you spoon it around in the juices of the watermelon and then you take it out, you will notice that the marshmallow has taken on some of the properties of the watermelon in that it has a more pinkish red, red appearance and it is wetter. And that one also has a piece of watermelon attached to it. So what we will do now is we will get rid of the evidence by eating the water, the uh, marshmallows. Mm, mm, mm. Marshmallows and watermelon go together very, very, very well. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. This is quite good. Marshmallow with some watermelon juice on it. But it could use roasted marshmallows. Be sure when you slice a watermelon, have an adult do that. And if you roast marshmallows, have an adult do that. That way, if your mom or your older brother or somebody cuts their fingers or burns their fingers or something, you can still go ahead and eat the watermelon comfortably. Hmm. This one. Take out here. Mm, 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 mm. Very, very good. And we will eat some more of the watermelon and then add another secret ingredient. All right, it is a couple of minutes later and we've devoured most of the watermelons. So have a little bit of juice down at the bottom. We will place in some sorbent marshmallows there and then we will add our final secret ingredient, which is peanut butter. Peanut butter. Peanut butter goes very well with watermelon. And what I'm going to do is get the marshmallows quite uh, covered with watermelon juice here. And I will take the spoon and dig into the peanut butter and get a small serving of peanut butter and place in there and have marshmallow and watermelon and peanut butter all there together and we can make a big mess of it if we really try and by the way other things that go good with watermelon this will be quite tasty as you shall see when you actually try it you'll you'll love this mm, 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 mm. you don't need salt because peanut butter has salt in it if it's salty peanut butter so you have the watermelon with some peanut butter. Mm, 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 mm. And here's watermelon, peanut butter, and marshmallow together. And other things that go good, other foods that go good with watermelon, if you are eating a watermelon and you're very, very hot and the watermelon alone doesn't quench your thirst, what beverage goes with watermelon? The correct answer is chocolate milk. You probably guessed that. You also can add ice cream to watermelon. You can add whipped cream to watermelon. It's all quite good. Happy eating, watermelon students. <laughs>